everyone, welcome to another episode of Grapple Tries. Today we are on the road because we are going to Cambridge. We are going to be visiting Wally Morb Ceramics and we're going to be learning how to make pottery and we'll see you when we get there. Hello, so we have arrived in lovely Cambridge where Lucy is based. So we're gonna get making pottery today. I wanna to find out a little bit about Lucy first. So Lucy, you left uni, right? Yeah. And you left uni to pursue pottery. Yeah. So tell me a bit about how that got started. Well, I left uni and then the pandemic happened and um, it meant that I could put all my time into one thing um, because my job that I was doing, I didn't have to do because of the pandemic. Um, so basically I was in the studio like every single day making pots and like improving. And then I set up a little shop um, and it's gone from there basically. Yeah. How did you get business in the first place? Um, all through Instagram. See, Instagram has actually got yeah, some good yeah. things, not all bad. No. And um, what are we gonna be doing today? Today we are going to be making um, some tea cups well, or coffee cups um, and you can decorate one and you can trim one. So. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Right, we're going to go and get started. We're going to take you on a little tour of the studio and we're going to get making some pottery. So what are you doing now? So basically, this is a sh piece of um, chamois leather. Mm -hmm. You know, like to clean your car. Yeah. That's so cool. You want to anchor your arms onto the, the splash pan. Mm -hmm. um, because if you don't, then they go all over the place and your pot won't work. And you push together and you like bring your hands upwards. Yeah. And you get like a little cone. Looks a little bit phallic, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When it's at this point, you can start to open out. And people do this really differently. Like some people like do two fingers and like pull out like that. Get the, the sponge on the stick mm -hmm. and just like flatten the middle out. It's so, so crazy how much the shape changes. And then, so I use this tool mm -hmm. and I basically cut away the excess. Okay. And then you wow. can, that, that's it's really satisfying. That's kind of like when you ice a cake. Yeah, it is. It's like exactly the same. And then that's, <gasps> wow. <laughs> that's crazy, it's just done like that. I, I'm so impressed. Are you really, it's quite like a stretch on the oh, legs. Is <laughs> it? Yeah, I feel like it's I really like stretching my legs. I'm scared to press it. <laughs> I know it's got nothing on, but. Oh, it's actually quite hard to press. Yeah, I feel like that's just oh! where we are going. Oh, we've done it! <laughs> oh! Oh, sorry, I oh, know this is going to go. Okay. I'm going to be so messy after this. Okay, here we go. She's a natural. Get in the zone, Grace. Wow! It doesn't look as effortless as when you did it. Oh! Oh! Wow! You want Thank to you. slam it down in the middle. I'm not going to get the middle. <laughs> it doesn't okay. have to be, it can be a bit off. I don't, too much, is that too much? Well, you know, <laughs> you can do whatever. Then, oh, it's it. not right. Oh, it's fine. But That's really off centre. You can just... It's <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's okay, pull that bit oh. off. You can still do it with that bit. I'm going to throw it on the ground. I've got this. Arms in. Yep. Right, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going... I'm... I oh, took it off. It's okay, it's okay. Slowly push down, you can like. So it's a blob one. again? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a learning experience. Yeah. Can we even work with that? We're on the fourth ball of stoneware clay and we're giving our proper second attempt, and I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. Is she gonna get it in the centre? And now we bring up again? Yep. And now down? Yeah, push away from you, remember? Oh yeah, no, remember. it's bulbous. No, no, that's, it's okay. Well, like, you can go up. Some people's, when they do it, it is more bulbous. The tongue has come out, you know, when you're concentrating. Oh, <laughs> yeah. nothing. Now you can start to open up. Yes. I like that. Words of affirmation. Yes. But go in a bit more. Don't squeeze together. You're not squeezing together. Oh. 
See, that's already so good. Okay, and then. Ta da! Okay. And then we just take the knife and basically yeah. you just want to pop that sucker right out. Just look! Do you want to hold them next to each other? <laughs> yeah. See, this is just. Practice makes not perfect, but close enough. Look at that! So we're about to do trimming. Yes. And this beautiful little pot right here, you see how it's so nice and tiny and titchy right there? It started out just like this little baby. Um, so I'm gonna learn how to trim away so we get a gorgeous little pot. So yeah. take it away, okay. Lucy. So I always start with a ruler to mm -hmm. mark out like where I'm gonna cut to. Oh, that's like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> you have to press quite hard. It creates the foot. So also when you glaze, mm. you don't have to glaze the foot. Okay. Because that's what stands on the kiln. You can't have any, any of your glaze touching your kiln shelf. So if you have a foot, then it will stand on the foot. Looks so easy, but I don't think it's going to be easy. See, that, that makes my ears go funny. That's giving me goosebumps. <laughs> giving you the shivers. Yeah, it has. This little guy, which looks like a duck. You want to spin the wheel quite fast and it will probably feel wrong. Okay. You want to make sure your arm is anchored again. I tried doing it with this pot, but it kept popping off. So we're seeing if I'm the issue or if it's the pot. So we're giving it another whirl. We don't stop if we, we don't get defeated easily here. So we're giving it a go. Okay, let's get it rolling. Don't pop off, please. I think I've got it straight there. Nope, nope. I've ruined your mighty fine work of art. <laughs> Use this tool and straighten it all off again. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna show you some real speed. Yeah. Oh, we've got some vibration. Tomorrow I'm gonna have no bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can just be a tiny little bit of elevation. No, that is really good. <laughs> you can sign it as well in the bottom if you want. Grr. Ah. And then, how do I get it off? Just pop you, it off? Yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna pop. I feel like I was much better at that. Yeah, much I'm, more yeah. natural. I feel like that's good, right? Yeah. Not good, not to take my own heart. I just mean that's done, right? Yeah, no, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. I'm about to paint my pot right here, and we've got some paints. What types of paints are these? And um, the underglazes. Under so glazes. What does that Feeling a gradient of blue, of course. I'm taking some inspiration from the sea. It wasn't necessarily stress. No, it was stressful. It was actually really stressful. Just because you mess up one tiny thing and then the whole pot's gone. So you've just sabotaged yourself. Um, so then you have to start all over again, learn the whole process. And the pulling, I wasn't good at. Um, but with a little bit of practice, I feel like I'll be there in no time. Might invest in a potter's wheel. Oh no! Did you get that? It's just dribbled the whole way down. Oh no! How do I even solve that? Oh, oh, that's fine, okay. We're just gonna have like a mottled bit. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is that your dribble? No, that's, <laughs> that's got blue in it, okay. I like the rustic effect. That's what anyone that says yeah. when it goes slightly wrong. I like it rustic. And that is Grace's pot. Finito. My pot is done. Oh, it went pretty well. Um, I think Grace struggled a bit with the throwing, but her trimming was really good. Um, and I think if she had a few more attempts, then she would um, get the hang of it. Teaching is is pretty hard. I don't normally do anything like that. I haven't ever taught anyone before. Um, so it was quite different because normally you just do it by yourself, but doing it, like trying to tell someone else what to do is quite difficult. Watching Grace try to pull up a pot was quite funny, um, but she did okay, she did okay. I think it took her 
or was it she did on her third attempt she like got the hang of it um but there were quite a few balls of clay that didn't make it <laughs> i think it went really well i think i'm quite the natural um and i think i might take up a career in pottery it was really hard um but i feel like i was i took to it really well and my hands are just designed for pottery. I have a real steady hand, a real good grasp of spatial awareness. Um, and as I said, I'm a natural. The funnest part of the day was probably, I actually did enjoy cutting um, because it's just fun to like get all of the clay away and just see it go into nothing. So I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Lucy from Wally Morb Studio. I'm going to put all the links down below and put her Instagram uh, up on the screen. Please go and show her some love. Thank you so much for being so patient with me today. Thank um, you for coming. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. Peace out, punks. <laughs>